Hi there, you have reached MCQ Revision Questions, which is a part of the YouTube channel where we take an exam style question and uh, do a bit of revision on the topic and give you a chance to have a go at the answer as well. This question is a really interesting one. I like this one. It's about training carbon permits. So let's take a look at the question. Under the EU's emissions trading scheme, heavy industries are issued with a quota of carbon permits. And companies that want more must buy spare permits from cleaner companies. That's the essence, of course, of the carbon trading or the emissions trading scheme. Which combination of changes shown below would be most likely to increase the price of permits? Have a go at the question. I'll be back in a few seconds with the right answer and an explanation for you. So we're looking here at the market for permits. This is a really interesting uh, bit of economics, the idea of trading permits, trading carbon. So they're introducing a carbon tax, create a market in the right to pollute. And one of the aspects of the question is the idea of a quota. A quota, of course, is it's a quantity limit on permits. So businesses that are polluting per tonne of carbon will have to have sufficient permits to cover that, that emission of carbon. So what combination of changes would be most likely to increase the price of permits? Which, which answers did you choose here? Well, we'll think about the price mechanism here. If you think about the way in which the carbon price is established, the market price will increase when there is an increase in demand for permits and or a fall in supply. So we're looking for a combination A, B, C or D where there's either a fall in supply and an increase in demand. Look for that combination. And the answer is, the answer is A. So if you lower the number of carbon permits issued, permits become more scarce. Essentially, you're cutting the supply of permits in the market. Imagine the supply curve for permits shifting to the left. Equally, when the rate of growth of global GDP is increasing, global output, if you like, cement and uh, energy and construction companies will be increasing, and therefore there will be, other things being the same, an increase in carbon emissions. So there'll be a greater demand for carbon permits. So the number of permits being issued is lower because of the fall in the quota, and the growth of GDP increases demand. Both of those factors, in theory, should increase the um, price of the permit. We're not asked to evaluate in this question, we're just asked to use simple supply and demand economics for the answer. 